Hello, Paul Wilkinson here. This is a quick video, quite different from the topics I normally talk about on my channel, but this is a musician superfood. If you are plumbed into sprouts, I want to tell you about them. They're absolutely fabulous. Look at these things. These taste so yummy. You can grow them in your cupboard and they take like three days. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that. You know, the old adage, how does a musician become a millionaire? We well, start by giving him two million, he or she. I'm going to talk about this super cheap food, which is just so full of goodness. So let's have a look at some of the stuff now. So today I'm going to talk about these amazing superfood, mung beans. I'm going to talk mainly about these today, mung beans, and I'm going to talk about a sprouting mix. You can do broccoli sprouts as well. The seeds look a little bit different uh, for that. I'll just show you then so you can see them. There you go, a bit finer. They take about three or four days, maybe a little bit more spicier in taste. Alfalfa is another one you can do. Um, chickpeas, but that's also in a sprout mix that you can generally buy. So, these mung beans, how do you sprout then? So you need a germinator jar, like this. Put your mung bean seeds, there they are. Stick them in, get them all in. And the first thing you need to do is rinse that. So, a little bit of water now, just rinsing round. Okay. Give it a rinse, spin it round, sing some beatbox. Okay, once you've done that, wash that out again and leave enough water in, probably an inch or so, to cover the seeds. So, like that. Make sure they're all sunk to the bottom. If they're not, you can push them down with a, a spoon if you like as well. You know, you might, you might find that's a good idea as well, just to put a spoon to push them down. Then, put that in a dark cupboard for about eight hours for these. They all vary. I'm going to recommend a book at the end which gives you... Uh, better suggestions about times for soaking the, soaking the seeds. Leave that in. What I do is just leave it in overnight. So leave this in over the night. Overnight. Next day, drain the water off. Okay, so all the water's been soaked out of it. And put that in a cupboard, a dark place. And two or three times a day, come by and give that a wash. Out, just rinse it out like I've just done. Put it back in the cupboard. And then two or three days later, with these actually at the moment, with we're in the summer, these are just a couple of days and they become this. And there. Mmm. Super, super tasty. So let's just have a look at the cupboard now and see what it's like. Mmm, yummy. Down below. So here's my cupboard where I keep them all. Here I've got a, a mix of sprouts. It's got lentils, some chickpeas, uh, some mung beans and some azuki beans already in there. As you can see, look at that. That's ready to go now. That's beautiful. So that's been in the cupboard. I've been round, washed it out two or three times a day. And actually that's only taken two days and they're ready to eat. So they're done now. Uh, now let's go to the next process, what I normally do next. Okay, so what I do next is they need emptying from the jar. So, a salad spinner, really useful. Get them all in there, get them emptied. Then we need to do, give them a wash. So, spin that round a little bit, get it all soaked in. Once that's done, put your lid on your spinner. If you've got, if you've got um, broccoli sprouts, this is quite good because you've got the seeds left of the sprouts. So when you spin, it gets the seeds either side and they kind of go through the, the gap. So then you give it a spin. There we go, have a look at that. Beautiful. Look at those lovely chickpeas there. Sprouty. Mmm, yummy. Super, super tasty. Put them in a jar. Probably something like this. Put them in the fridge. I'm going to leave them a few days, maybe come by and give them a couple of washes. But there you go, that is my cheap musician's food. And I recommend you get the wonderful Doug Evans' book. Get Doug's book. Doug's book is absolutely brilliant. Explains all about sprouting. Was a great guide for me to help me. Uh, so like he says on the back, I think he sums it up. Sprouts have 20 or 30 times nutrients of other vegetables and 100 times those of meat and dairy. They're packed with cancer-fighting properties to help protect us from cardiovascular disease, environmental pollutants, and the aid in digestion. A simple way to grow our vegetables to combat all kind of diets. And if you're a musician, they're super cheap. Or oh, whatever kind of person you are, they're super cheap. So if you're not growing this superfood now, I really advise you get to it now. I'll put the link for Doug's book in there and get doing it. Super cheap. Bag of that, eight, nine quid, and away you go. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.